Ravenna's floating dragon. I saw it with my own eyes. Cal Granti. Dragon has no sense of propriety. Flying off without so much as a buy or leave. And we'll find that way. Somehow. For now, rest. Prepare yourself. And take this for your efforts. Remember, I refuse to be stymied by a hovering land mass. The floating island could be part of Calgranti's plan. But it could also mean he wanted privacy for his final push toward ascension. I considered that option. But without a mage of Abner Tharn's abilities and experience, we have no way to activate the Aeon Stones. As far as I know, this is the first time the Dragon Guard has faced this particular obstacle. There must be a way to reach Dragonhold. appear before my eyes, my friend. I seek a path for us, but find nothing but dead ends. I... The path I walked through the Shadow Dance Temple attuned me to the moons, and to the memories of my ancestor, Anequin, a sharp tongue. I do not think so. Those ancient edifices connect only to specific locations. Watch over me while I try to access Anequina's memories. Reveal your memories to me. The answer you seek resides in the cavern of the moon's sacred light. That was intense. Anikuna did not so much as show me her memories. She spoke through me. I am as surprised as you are, my friend. No, not this time. I want to search the memories and see if Anequina has more to tell us about Cal Ghost Cat. Like the spirits that accompanied us through the Shadow Dance Temple, then I believe you, my friend. Stay a moment, Sai Sahan. You can meet our friend at the moonlit pool.
found the place. Queen Chimera recalled one last thing before I left her side. It took her a moment to understand what the vision was showing her, but she shared that knowledge with me. A door. An ancient door. Hidden behind a waterfall. Just as Queen Chimera said, a door hidden behind a waterfall. I'd say placing an ancient corridor and its matching door behind a waterfall counts as hidden. I wonder what's behind it that will help us reach Dragonhold. Not so fast, my eager associate. See that tablet on the wall? It appears that parts of it are missing. Not with that aura of magic that surrounds it. This way, by the way. Tiger Shark is like a mountain of sweet meats, is it not?
another few steps. Almost there. Were you successful, my friend? I fear without the restored tablet, we won't open this door. The fragments fit together? What does it say? Anequina, Flinthild, Numerian. Those names. From the legends Abner goes on and on about. The Khajiiti hero? Kunzari. Khajiit and their witness. This really be the tomb of Kunzari? Sarcophagus. And a ghost of that. You see too, my friend? Zaru was thinking. Five Claw will never decipher the clues. Then, to our surprise. Here you are. Zor thought we would meet much sooner, dearest friend. Anequina always was too clever with her connotations, yes? Do not make Zor blush, dear friend. Legendary certainly fits. Illustrious, even. But mythic? That's a little much, yes? Apologies. It was much more grand when Zar's tales were widely told. As for why Zar has awakened, well, how could this one sleep with all the noise the dragons make? Oh no, dear friend. Zar's tales have all been told. You do not expect Zar to draw you a map, do you? Where is the fun in that? The brave and beautiful Khajiiti Queen. Anequina's blood courses through her sleek and fragrant form. A rib, a femur, but a claw is least cumbersome. Do not look so surprised. The remains of a Khajiiti legend hold great 
power. Take Zar's claw to the Inequina of this age. She can use it to get your Krajun to Dragonhold. Now, accept this fighting gift. A quick path back to your Krajun. That is where this story truly Into the bed, really. I hope that contentious old maid is all right. I to Queen Kamira, Did you and Sysahan find the hit? Tell me, my friend, what truly five claw? Bright moons. What did you find inside? A we his claw? And it is a claw. That is definite. The John Light Path? Hmm. Not yet, but I... If this Calgranti actually exists, how can either the Shields or the Dragon God hope to stand against it? General Renless and the Shields will protect Sencha. I swear we won't let you down. As Queen Kamira solved our transportation issue, but despite our past differences, the General did come through when we needed him. I extended an invitation and he decided to accept. General Renless wishes us success in our mission, but he won't leave Sensual undefended. Five Claw, I think I know what to do with Kunzari's Claw. Five Claw, I think I understand. That is the part I have not fully worked out yet. But in Anequina's memories, I saw a place between places. No five claw. Without Tarn to guide me, I do not want to risk all of our eggs in this particular basket. The Dragon Guard will remain in reserve. You are five claw. You and Sai Sahan. Dragon Guard, defend Senshal until you hear from us. Five claw, Sai, with me. Enter the portal. Welcome, dear friends, to the John Light Path, where heroes such as we can climb the liminal forces that bind each here to everywhere. You... you are the... Kunzari? Oh, please. Blood of my beloved. To his friends, this one is simply Zar. Now... Cross the Joan Light Path and make your way to Dragon Hole. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Such a wonder. Mind the gaps between the stars, dear friends. Zar will feel terrible if any of you fall. on forever. So many islands, but no way to reach them. The end is near, dear friends. You can almost smell Calgrantid's stench from here. This is the spot. Liminal of here touches the liminal of there. 
I have so many questions to Yes, Tsar breaks his own rules. It is his nature, yes? Through this portal awaits the end of a tale that started long ago. Moons guide you, dear friends. My dear friend, we have walked the Joan Light path together, and Tsar... Tsar can go anywhere, yes. You? No, not so much. Between the two of us, only Kunzari has heard Azura's whispers and climbed the Forbidden Tree. Or your soul will be torn asunder. Only Azura's swiftest champions can survive in this between place for very long. Portals. You enter first and emerge last. Even time refuses to work correctly around such magic. Come. Queen Kamira and Nathalar are up ahead. What began in Anequina ends in the sky over Pelatine. I sense... power. A I have a guess. Nafalar tells us that there are focal points, Aeon stones placed at key locations around the island. If Abnar Tharn was with us, he would have a magical solution. In his absence, I see only one clear path. Mask bearer, don the mask of Alkash and fill it with the energy of the creatures of Dark Aeon. It will protect you and the others from my fire. Your mask glows with power. There, that shard of Aeon Stone. Destroy it. Our efforts have displeased Count Grantid. Good. Then let us press the advantage while we have it.
Would they be part of the complex you explored with Tharn? If Tharn still lives, he could have taken refuge inside. We'll find him, Queen Kamira. I've seen Tharn survive worse things than a photo island. <laughs> Just up ahead. last of the focal points. Now, to deal with Kalgrontid. As you say, again. How typical. I had a feeling that you were behind the disruption of the other focal points. Figured I'd help. Ever the voice of support and tact. To safely absorb all that energy, Calgronti needed the focal points. As close as he is to his ascension, safety will be the furthest thing from his mind. If Calgronti tries to ascend without the focal points, he could unleash all that pent-up energy. You worry more than a Norse nursemaid. I ran, dodged falling bricks and leapt over collapsing floors, made my way to the surface. I did what any proper battle mage would do. I hid. Of course he did. If we survive this, you can explain that to me later. 